Alright, we need to make our way down through here. Way. Oh, hang on, there's a door right here we can go through. I did fine. Alright. Oh yeah, there's gonna be combat. Your doom has been foretold. Alright, let's bring you here. Bring you here. Bring you way up here. Bring you here. It's gonna hurt myself if I do this too. Let's just try the psychic screen. I'm only gonna get those three. Got two of them. Go ahead and shoot across that table, brah. Alright. I'll do it. Is a oh yeah, nicely done, Argenta. Let's go ahead and shoot on the run. Alright, Abelard, you should probably, you know, let's see here. Just need to take care of this. At your back and call. Yeah. I took care of this one. Indeed. Study those guys. Oh, the problem for me. oh yeah, I got all three. Very nice. Come on up, group up together, guys. That's what I want. She's a little exposed right now, but I think that was probably worth it. Um, which one of these guys have clue? That guy has clue. Not this guy has job. I 
Follow my lead. Get up there, Abelard. Victory is imminent. One to a target. And that's how it's done. Welcome to the YouTube channel, Kemi. Don't forget we are multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch, so you can pick your poison where you want to watch. The daily full-time video stuff happens on YouTube, and the multi-streams are on Twitch and beyond. I usually do four to six videos a day on YouTube. Different game guides, news articles, thought pieces. Check it out. Welcome aboard. Excellence matters. An exact replica of the Von Blanke's Void ship sits on the pedestal. Labels indicate the main compartments and decks of the vessel. Welcome to the Twitch channel, Aminus. Perfect timing. That one might be bugged because they're not. Li there we go. Done. A new challenge for me. Got some gloves. All right, who's got tech? Who's got the best tech? Tech use 45, 30, 45, 45. No, 30, sorry. Uh, and 30. So probably best if I use the gloves on this character. Also, that's a sniper rifle. I'll probably need to stick with that. Oh, this is better. It's a well-maintained sniper rifle. Um, not better than his current sword. Fading Valor. I'm gonna. She's got a great weapon. She doesn't need anything else. Claim to the stars. I rise to the occasion. Restore the power. Excellence matters. Done. Victory awaits. Got some goodies. I did fine. Mantle of Heroism requires Benevolentia Adherent. Each heroic act used in the battle increases where his dodge by 10%. I'm going to hold on to that because I haven't made any Benevolentia choices yet. Only he can wear it for the moment, so we might as well put it on. Looking good, Abelard. I won't tolerate nope, weakness. Hold up. Got some loot over here. And also over here.
Now we can go through the door. I'd better myself. That's one way to go through the door. A new challenge for me. It auto saved. Helmet, plus five percent to armor. It probably looks stupid as hell, though. It does. Oh my god. Hang on. Where's his armor rating? Fifteen percent. So this would. It didn't give me any bonus. It said five percent to armor. I didn't see a five percent bonus. I'll leave it for her for the meantime. I don't want to spoil my good looks. Not going that way. The roar of the flames rings in your ears, and the choking smoke makes you cough and gasp for air. You instinctively recoil from the scorching heat wiping your face. A moment later, a hazy silhouette forms in the raging wall of fire. You are surrounded by ear splitting noise and screaming, yet you distinctly hear the sound of footsteps. And then, you see the figure walk out of the fire towards you. It is Theodora von Valencius. Her expression is calm, terrifyingly so for someone whose body is engulfed in an inferno. One of her hands is resting on the hilt of her power sword and the other is raised in an inviting gesture. Are you lost, my heir? Argenta goes as still as a statue, then slowly raises her weapon. An apparition! A sorcerer's apparition! Trickery of the warp! Abelard sells. Sister, you will lower your weapon! Despite his commanding tone, he does not sound too confident. He is staring at the rogue trader, and you notice a muscle in his cheek tweak in his tweak in his cheek twitching. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous. This is impossible. I doubt you are aware of the limits of what is possible, Renfell, for your worldview is but an iota of what a rogue trader knows and sees. But I can tell you that you would like me to share that knowledge with you power over reality. Theodora watches you without blinking, her snake-like gaze almost making you forget about the fire searing you, leaving burns in your skin. I can lead you out of these flames, Renfail, show you a path, rid you of pain, and give you a weapon so that you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Your mouth begins to salivate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your ears. The entity that now dwells in the deepest recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding that you give her an immediate answer. And that answer can be nothing other than acceptance. Do not listen to this abomination, Renfail. If there is naught but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The Emperor protects. His faithful will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises. Nor will the file burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. Your little zealotous Argenta. Indira yells, To the void with you! We need to follow Lady Theodora before we suffocate in this furnace. Abelard, the people! He looks back at the coughing and confused people around you. Renfail, the survivors for the middle decks! We must help the crew! Over the roaring flame, you hear distant sounds, frightened voices, screams, muffled and distorted as if there was a body of water between you and them. 
All right, we got a conviction finally. We're gonna go Benevolentia. We're gonna get the people off the bridge. I'll not leave my people in harm's way. You look away and the illusion breaks. The unbearable heat instantly makes your skin burn and the voice of the people beyond the shroud of smoke grows stronger and hopeful once you and your companions rush back, barking orders and guiding the survivors. In your determination, you slowly, f you completely forget about Theodora and when you turn your head, you see nothing but the bellowing fire. Back, fall back, we'll go around the corner. Well, I don't think we're going around this corner, right? Yeah, I don't know how to get across that one either. It's definitely not that way. What are we missing here? There's nothing in there. Abelard pointed in this direction, but I don't see. I unless, follow. unless this was this an elevator over here? Victory awaits. Looks like it might be, but I don't see any. Uh, all right, I'm missing something. Oh, here it is. Crash the platform. Ballista skill. Duty prevails. <laughs> I fingered it out. Challenge for me. We're too late. Abelard throws his hands up in despair. Perhaps Edelthard and his escort never made it here, which would be even worse. Or they could be fighting on the bridge as we speak, without us. Alright, we're obviously missing some NPCs here because it's in beta. Overseer uh, says, My lord, I beg your pardon for interrupting. The people are asking for orders. You came back to save us, and now we will follow you through thick and thin. Abelard says, To the bridge! If Edelthrad is there, then he requires immediate assistance. He turns to you. Redfail, there is one thing that I find most troubling. The Lord Captain's Vox casts. They're still coming in, even though it would make sense for Lady Theodore to be on the bridge right now at the head of the counter assault. I feel uneasy. What if the Lord Captain is besieged in her own chambers? With your permission, I suggest we confirm for ourselves that she is not. We could use the same elevator that Lady Theodora and Mort headed for earlier. Quick save! That's the elevator the Lord Captain's course. Plasma conduits blaze with energy capable of powering a vast void ship. Ooh. Lex Mechanics Goggles. Well, who's got the best logic? 
55, 30, 30. That would be me. I guess I'm wearing goggles. Ha! Dude! Well, hey, man, they're better than the helmet. <laughs> Dude, my guy's pretty buff, man. Looking good in that one, one piece. Makes me think I need to get back to doing exercises. That, that piece of art right there, that key art is so well done. Just, uh, I don't know who the red-haired barbarian dude is, but I've, I've met all the other people so far. Actually, I don't know who the red-haired sniper is, but that's Argenta, Heinrichs, Abelard. I don't know who the barbarian is. I haven't met him yet. I should probably go research the companions that do. I know, I know Slandered Gaming has done a, uh, a um, couple of videos on the on the companions that are coming up. I should probably do that at some point. All right. There's nothing in here. Nothing in here. Oh, there's a body. Oh, oh, what's going on here? She ain't alive, so whoever's on the box is not her. That is not good. Victory awaits. Ooh, Captain Militant's helmet. 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 Alright, we got multiple things here. Um, let's check the goods first. Bonus. That's probably going to be used for the navigator lady I get. I mean, he's got the best fellowship for the moment, so I'll put it on. The, the scene of the murder looks like something caught dead by the caught the dead by surprise. Hang on, that went really quick. Theodore von Valenkis' body is sprawled in the large, blood-drenched desk. The archmilitant's corpse, still clutching a weapon, is lying on the floor by one of the bulkheads. The sister of battle surveys the scene, her gaze lingering on the archmilitant's body. Emperor, accept thy faithful souls. No! Adira's heart-rending scream shakes the walls. She collapses to her knees, her body shuddering as she weeps. I... Lord Captain, I... I didn't hear... didn't hear a thing. Uh, not a whisper, not a breath. It was... it was so loud. Why... why didn't I foresee this? Abelard, stunned, takes a few steps forward and leans heavily on the edge of the desk. His eyes are locked on Theodore's body. Lord Captain, who... Who would even dare unless... That rat Voitver? Hmm. I'm gonna say nothing. I don't know them enough. How could Mort have failed so terribly? The Archmilitant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. Yadira sobs and gets up. She glances around, looking lost. I... I can look at things in my own way. If you find something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me and I'll try to see what secret it holds. Alright. 
examine her body. You lean closer. The cause of the death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot, an extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise, the last emotion she experienced in life. Something on the floor catches your eye. A heap of blood-spattered parchment and scrolls that must have fallen off the desk. As you lean down for a closer look, you notice something else. A small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Inspect the shards. It's difficult to say what was broken. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they had been submerged in Prometheum. Adira, what do these shards tell you? I see streaks of color. Faces. Lady Theodora and Conrad and... What is that? Ah! She shakes her hand, looking frightened. Something dark and enormous. Oh, Renfield, this glass thing was something nasty, that's for sure. Tainted witchcraft. You cannot tell if Argenta's remark is directed at the glass shards or Adira herself. Inspect the papers. Reports, accounts, dispatches. You go over the scrolls until you stumble upon a document that is starkly different from the rest. It is a handwritten letter signed with the initials X, C, and a seal with a symbol that is vaguely familiar to you. But try as you might, you cannot recall its meaning. Examine the body. The auto pistol shot went straight through Mort's forehead. The safety on his weapon is off. The killer must have been a split second quicker than he. Adira, what would you see if you touched Theodora's body? It doesn't work like that. I won't risk searching for it in the warp. Alright. The scum will regret the day they were born. Alright. In our inventory we have... A handwritten letter. Esteemed Theodora. A change in circumstances has demanded your immediate assistance in our mutual cause. Forthwith, upon receiving this letter and performing the necessary preparations of the crew, you are to depart for the Reichen system. One of my agents, interrogator Heinrichs von Kallax, operates there at the present time. Upon your arrival in the system, you will, without delay, make contact with him and offer any assistance required of you, after which you will provide him passage to the Furbunder system aboard your ship. On footfall, the interrogator will remove himself from your presence to await further instructions. Anticipating any questions you have, I will stress that the nature of Interrogator Von Kallox's activities on Riker Menoris is of no concern to you. If required, he will disclose the details of this mission to you. May the Emperor's Light be with you, XC. And that's where my first playthrough bugged out, because I didn't go to that planet first, I went to the other planets first. <laughs> and I bugged out the cutscene. So we're going to go there first this time around. They say a little bit of humility never hurts anyone. I help others Time to level up. Wholeheartedly humiliating them at every step. That's nice. That's also nice. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Instant expose. I might take that one. Man, there's all sorts of fun stuff in here. The Psychers' attacks, including the attacking psychic powers, now also poison enemies. Ooh. I'm going to take that. Oh, let's see. Here we get. What else do we get? Automatic. Okay. Uh, let's take logic. I 
actually hold that thought. Let's take Lore Warp. Thick skin, athletics. Maybe give her the instant expose. I'll take rapid reload. Demolition. All right. We are leveled up. A new challenge for me. I think we can go out of here. Nothing in the bedroom, I think. Where's the door out of here? I think we came in from this side, didn't we? There's a bed in here. None shall stand in my way. I don't think there's anything clickable in these rooms, but I do want to check everything just in case. Man, it doesn't look like anything. Rut row. I'll see you terminated. That doesn't sound good. Combat Servitor. Well, let's get behind this. You get behind this. You get back here. And you, sir, get up here. Ha! Dodge, dodge, parry, parry. Oh, oh, oh! Get the servitor! Alright, here we go. Um, sir, you are right here and you can do an AoE, so. I will do. I will take care of this one. I'm not interested. Oh, you can't do it right there. Um, it will be done. Brace for impact. <laughs> All right, you sir. Uh, let's take care of this Suits dude. My purposes. You didn't stand a chance. And now we're going to give him iron arm. Oh, too easy. Now we're going to study. No, I can't. We're done. Alright, you dear, can you it's not worth it. Um I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. Oh, she missed. Alright. Big bada boom. This is gonna hurt. On it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Study enemies. But of course. And I can immediately use that because it no longer takes action points. Ouch. 
Ouch! Whispers call to me. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Alright, I've got momentum now. Let's do we'll Daring Breach. And we're going back, baby. Daring Breach is such a badass ability. At your back and forth, My chunk! Alright. so cool to be able to look at all this. I mean, they do a good job like Baldur's Gate 3 did of just showing you all the data if you really want to dive into it. It's so cool. There's a lot of math, man. Oh, we got some goodies. The wearer gains five toughness if their int is less than 35. In other words, you got to be an idiot to wear it. Who's got int less than 35? Havillard does. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> 